In this video, I'm going to show you guys why I prefer using a quilt over a traditional uh, mummy bag. I'm also going to show you guys what my favorite ultra lightweight backpacking quilt is. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Iron. If you like backpacking, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And uh, yeah, give this video a like. That really helps me out, you guys. Over the past decade, I've probably gone through about, I'd say seven or eight different quilts and sleeping, sleeping bags. And I've really come to just prefer a quilt over a traditional mummy bag. And I'm gonna tell you guys why. So be before I get into to the differences between a, a quilt and a mummy bag, I'm gonna show you guys my, my uh, ultralight quilt of choice. So this is an Enlightened Equipment Enigma quilt. So you can see here the toe box is sewn. And then it's just pretty much an open bag from there. Just, just love this thing, could not recommend it enough. It is by far my most favorite quilt or sleeping bag I've ever used. I've had it for about two to three years now and uh, it's been holding up great. It has a lifetime warranty too, so you know I should have this thing forever. All right, so let's talk about some of the differences here. So a quilt with the same temperature rating as a mummy bag is usually about 20 to 30% lighter, but that's not really why I use a quilt. I roll around a lot in my sleep and I've found that in most mummy bags, especially ultra lightweight mummy bags, are usually pretty pretty tight cut. Uh, I get twisted up in them and uh, wake up a lot, all disoriented, trying to find my zipper in the middle of the night. And uh, yeah, I find that to be extremely annoying. You're not gonna have that problem with a quilt. It's way less restrictive. Having the toe box sewn in here, your feet still stay in place, which is really nice. The other major benefit that the quilt has over the mummy bag is it's really easy to regulate the temperature. So say it's summertime and you only have one 20 degree bag, it's a lot easier to just lift a flap up on your quilt than to try to do that in a, uh, a sleeping bag with a zipper. It's very difficult. So the quilt is an excellent excellent way to, to really dial in uh, the perfect amount of warmth. Another thing that I really like about the quilt, I find myself a lot of times when I wake up in the morning, I'll be ha hanging out in my tent. Since this opens up so wide, I can cover up all my legs and stay really, really warm. That can also be very difficult in the traditional mummy bag. Yeah, so those are the main benefits of the quilt, in my opinion, over a mummy bag. All right, so let's talk about potential downfalls. So obviously there's no hood on this, but me personally, you know, I always have my beanie with me. I'm always wearing clothes with hoods. So, you know, I find that I personally don't really need the, uh, an attached hood to my bag. And then I'd say the only other major drawback is potential drafts coming through the bottom of your bag. So this quilt has clips here and uh, you can attach a strap to your pad and buckle those in. I went with a size wide quilt and you know I tried, I tried the clip system out but I found that I just really don't need it. With this bag being so wide, it's really easy for me to tuck both sides under me and, and not have any drafts come, come through my bag. So personally, I prefer not to go with the strap system, but as I said before, I went with a wide, size wide, and I did that on purpose. Me and my fiance are actually both able to even share this same quilt having it be a size wide, which is another bonus. So yeah, as I said before too, it's, it's 
going to be 20 to 30 percent lighter than a sleeping bag. But it's also going to take up less space and compre compress down more. This bag is filled with treated down, which I will never take any, I would never use a down bag that wasn't treated. And the reason for that is regular down, if it, if it were to get wet, it would lose all of its ability to insulate you. You know, people have actually died in wet sleeping bags. So, you know, maybe you're doing a multi-day hike and it's raining every day and you're getting a lot of condensation in your tent and you're not able to dry your bag out. You could potentially be in a, a dangerous situation there. So yeah, uh, I have a single walled shelter back here and I find myself often bumping into the edges of it and this bag will get wet. And uh, yeah, it still retains most all of its loft, which is really impressive. Yeah, I just can't say enough good things about this quilt. Yeah, when I hiked the PCT, I used a, a quilt. And then after the PCT, I decided to uh, try a mummy bag out again. And uh, realized that I just really preferred the quilt more. Yeah, I think this quilt costs about maybe $280, $300. But as I said before, it has a lifetime warranty and you know, it really should last you forever if you keep care good care of it. I've spent probably close to 200 nights uh, in this bag. I actually own two of these. I own a, a 10 degree and a 30 degree. So I've spent 200 nights between the two bags. If you're unsure of what temperature reading to get, I'd highly recommend a 20 degree bag or, or quilt. Uh, 20 degrees is just a good all around three season uh, temperature rating. And if you get into colder temperatures, you can always supplement with more clothing. So yeah, a lot, a lot of people new to backpacking uh, are a little, a little weary of trying out a quilt as opposed to a mummy bag. But I can tell you firsthand, after you know a decade of backpacking, I just really prefer the quilt over a mummy bag. But yeah, this thing is just so comfortable. And I'm six foot five, so I went with the size long. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but. So it almost covers my whole face. Which is nice. Uh, sometimes I'll bury my head under there. All right, you guys, so I was uh, putting my quilt away and uh, I figured I would show you guys the size of it packed down. As you can see, it compresses down insanely small. And uh, one, one more thing I totally forgot to go over. Um, I feel like these quilts are warmer than their rating, this Enlightened Equipment quilt. So kind of the reason that I have uh, two of these quilts, a 30 degree and a 10 degree, I originally bought the 10 degree bag to be my all around bag and uh, it was just way too warm. A lot closer to a zero degree bag in my opinion. And um, yeah, I would say these are definitely the warmest quilts or sleeping bags for the temperature ratings that they claim. Um, in my personal experience, I'd say they're about 10 degrees warmer than what they claim as their temperature rating. Uh, honestly, I use my 30 degree bag for most of the year and then I use this for spring, uh, winter, maybe late fall. And uh, the other reason I decided to keep both bags is in really cold temperatures below zero, I will bring both bags, both quilts, and I will use them together and I can stay warm down to like negative 20, negative 30 degrees. Yeah, these, these quilts are warm. If you guys have any questions at all, uh, leave a comment below and uh, yeah, say hi, say what's up. Um, like this video if you haven't yet that really helps me out and it helps other people find this content so 
cool. I'll catch you guys in the next trail soon. Peace. All right, another really cool thing about Enlightened Equipment, um, they are a small company, cottage company, uh, based out of the US. So if you go with one of their quilts, you will be supporting, yeah, supporting a company in the US, which is always good, right?